Tous ces éléphants orphelins n'auraient pas survécu sans la nurserie créée par Daphné à Nairobi. La nurserie recueille entre 20 et 30 éléphantaux, rapatriés des quatre coins du Kenya. Âgés de quelques jours à quelques mois, ils arrivent déshydratés et en mauvais état, parfois blessés et très traumatisés par la perte de leur mère et de leur famille. Ah voilà, il y a un tout petit là. Eight months. Eight months. And Maktao? Maktao is uh, just urinating. Yeah, six months. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Six months. This is the youngest. The youngest. Yeah. It's now 19 years. 19 years. And what I enjoy most yes. is to see the elephants go back into the wild. Can you tell us uh, about the story of uh, this little one? This little one is called Maktao and uh, he was Maktao. rescued from Savo. Travel. He was found in a community or mm. a village all alone. We could say he's a victim of human wildlife conflict. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was separated from his family by people, human beings, so the community is neighboring this area, and he was left alone. Mm. That's why he didn't have a mother, and a young elephant needs the mother's milk for the first two years. So if they lose the mother's when they're below two, it becomes very difficult because they cannot survive without the mother's milk for the first two years. Mm. And that's why we have to bring them in. For example, in his case, he was about four and a half months, almost five months. Mm -hmm. He's now six months. Six months? Yes. And do you, how, how many times do you feed them? You we feed them on intervals of three hours, day and night. Day and night. Every day, every night, every three hours, somebody prepares the milk mm -hmm. and the keepers feed them. The milk will go to where the elephants are, mm -hmm. every three hours. He wants stuff, huh? Yeah, he wants stuff. stuff. You enjoy it. You enjoy it, right? How long does it take for them to have a control of their trunk? Because you can see when they are younger, it's a little bit more difficult. When right? they are eight months, they start to learn or they start to perfect the use of their trunk. Okay. Yes, eight months. It's just sucking, sucking on the fingers. Sucking. It's can too you, young for you greens. L'orphelina fonctionne comme une unité de soins intensifs. L'équipe des gardiens les nourrit toutes les trois heures, jour et nuit. Ils les soignent et les accompagnent quotidiennement dans le parc. Selon leur âge, les orphelins se reposent, jouent, boivent et mangent. Puis les gardiens les emmènent jusqu'au bain de boue, situé à proximité de la maison de Daphné. Les gardiens dorment sur une plateforme à proximité des petits qui ne restent jamais seuls. Ils deviennent leur famille de substitution, prenant soin d'eux, alors qu'ils développent avec leurs congénères des relations et des liens qui, pour certains, s'établiront pour la vie. Le petit Maktao est sur le point de s'endormir. Un gardien va dormir à ses côtés, mais il demeure inquiet et il lui faudra du temps, du soin et de l'amour pour retrouver confiance. Uh, Marie, really is a little miracle. 
Um, this elephant um, had no chance of recovery in the wild situation. She was just lying in the grass with one partially paralyzed leg and the other having stepped on poison spikes and uh, she, she couldn't move, she was completely immobile. When she arrived here, the vet doubted very much whether it would heal, so we were faced with this dilemma. But with an elephant that lives three score years and ten, even if it takes one or two years, it's worth it. And we knew about the powers of recovery of nature. We'd seen it before many times. Uh, osteopaths that came to help and massage her leg. Very grateful to the vets who gave us um, good advice but their prognosis of a recovery was never encouraging. However, with homeopathic remedies, with um, Miracle Turmeric, which is a great natural healer, with lots of tender loving care, but most of all, opening the gate to her stockade so that she knew she wasn't a captive. And the, the input of the other elephants, that's what's brought Marira around. And we do believe she's going to make a full recovery. So she is our little miracle elephant, Marera the Miracle. Le cas de Moichotti m'a beaucoup touché. Âgée d'environ un an, sa patte a été pratiquement sectionnée par un piège et il n'aurait pas pu survivre sans l'aide de la Fondation. Il reçoit les premiers soins sur place, puis il est transporté à l'orphelinat. Sa blessure est infectée. Elle est nettoyée et soignée, et malgré la souffrance terrible qu'il endure pendant les soins, Moichotti reste calme. Amaigri et affaibli, Moichotti a pu progressivement guérir et retrouver, avec l'aide des gardiens et le soutien des autres éléphantaux, le goût de vivre. Kanza, son histoire m'a énormément touchée. Elle a été témoin de la disparition et du braconnage de son troupeau entier, de sa maman, de ses deux sœurs. Sa maman Kumquat était une magnifique matriarche de 44 ans, bien connue des chercheurs du parc d'Ambozeli. Elle a été assassinée par les braconniers, ainsi que ses deux filles. Restée seule près du cadavre de sa mère, Kwanza a été isolée en attendant l'arrivée de l'équipe de la Fondation qui l'a transportée jusqu'à l'orphelinat. Difficile de faire confiance aux humains après ce qu'elle a vécu. Elle avait même peur de ses soigneurs. Kwanza a retrouvé une certaine sérénité depuis son transfert au centre de réintroduction d'Oumani. Située dans la forêt de Kibwezi, Oumani est le centre le plus récent de la Fondation. Il accueille, dans un environnement plus clément, les éléphants affectés d'un handicap ou d'une fragilité. So this is Morera. Morera is uh, the matriarch here, the oldest. Morera is the oldest matriarch. He's about eight years now. Eight years. And he's doing the role of leading out the babies outside there, okay. trying to make their way out to the wild side, which is still a challenge to, to, to Morera, because of the disability she has. It's not allowed to interact very well with the, with the wild ones, because life there with the wild ones is quite a little bit rough to mm -hmm. Morera. Mm -hmm. and Morera is very much worried. Again, he's very much jealous to the wild ones, not to take more babies from her. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, she's eating uh, she walks very slowly. Very slowly because yes. of the disability she has. And Morera's special baby is Moshoti. Moshoti. And we don't yes. know why they decided on Moshoti than Alamaya, because both are having bad legs. So they might have a meeting. Let's take the bad leg like we. Well, la Lamaya can go with Lima yeah. Lima because he can run so fast. <laughs> yeah. But 
now Moshot is enjoying the company of, of the matriarchs. And he recovered well? Yes, uh, Moshot is the most beautiful and humble gentle. boy. Very yeah. gentle, very welcoming and entertaining. Mm. Beautiful boy. And he's enjoying the company of, of the boss, of the, of the head of girls. Above the The body gets a little bit warm. Yeah, yes. Like Murera. Yes. yes. Walking in the morning is. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mashoti. You're a, a nice boy. Mourera joue le rôle de matriarche du groupe d'Oumani, soutenu par d'autres éléphantes qui n'ont pas son handicap. Elle s'est prise d'affection pour Moichotti, devenu son protégé. Kwanza was very much traumatized. No matter even the keepers, is not friendly to all. Keepers is just coming. She she comes only to the keeper at the feeding time. Feeding time. But after feeding time, is going away because he don't trust yeah. anyone, any yeah. human yeah. contact around is worrying Kwanza. And because Kwanza, she she saw the killing, so it's a very very bad memory. Uh, Yes, and, and with their memory, they have got permanent memories that they don't forget very easily. Yes. And now Kwanza is about five years old. Mm -hmm. She's remembering what happened still. And <laughs> it's very friend to, 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 to Lima Lima. Kwanza is very much ready to go to the wild, only that she's, got, she's lacking the company to take her outside to the wild side. Because also the wild ones, are also beginning to come around, uh -huh. but the, the bridge between the, the human and the, and the exo, because we don't have the exophants to help Yes, to help, to help the, to, to make the bridge with the, what the is wild. A little bit, yeah. a, a little bit easier. Yeah. Kwanza, we, want, we, we really want the best for you. We want some pork for A big uh, uh, These uh, children from, uh, oh, from the school, uh, very, very small. Very small children. La nurserie a acquis une renommée nationale et internationale. Des classes d'enfants viennent observer les bébés éléphants quand ils sont nourris et prennent leur bain debout. Edwin raconte l'histoire de chaque bébé. Ainsi, les enfants prennent conscience des dangers auxquels les éléphants sont exposés et de la nécessité de les protéger.
souhaitons une longue vie au petit Mactao, qui après des années de soins prodigués par la Fondation, retournera un jour à sa vraie vie, la vie sauvage. Love they choose. 